Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's Robin here from Aries Fire Tarot and it is my favorite day because it is Dragon Oracle card reading day. So, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it, you guys. So, I'm just gonna get right into this. Um, I pulled the Lilac Fire Dragon for you guys. Um, so, the Lilac Fire Dragon helps to transmute through the power of divine love. So, transmute just means like you kind of need to work s through something to turn one thing into another. Like, as if you're turning coal into a diamond. Like, the, the transmutation process can turn your anger into love and stuff like that. So, anyway, I'll start reading and I'll give you guys a little shot of the card here. So, here it is. Um... So these dragons are fifth dimensional. However, they can reach up into the ninth dimension across, oh, to access, sorry, to access the awesome lilac fire of source. I'm here too. Um, which is a new energy recently graced to earth. That's really in interesting. This carries transcendent love as well as enlightenment. When these dragons... I'm gonna like I can't see sorry guys um, uh, when these dragons pour their lilac fire over and through us we are bathed in divine feminine light which has the power to dissolve all lower energies in pure love and bring us peace hope and joy it also bathes us in the higher divine feminine qualities of wisdom Like, I seriously don't know what that word means. A-G-A-P-E? Agape? I don't know. Um, higher divine feminine qualities of wisdom and oneness. I'm just going to skip that word because I've not got a hot clue. Having the energy in our aura may even allow us to experience bliss and ecstasy. I'm going to put the card down for a sec. So the guidance... Related to the Lilac Fire Dragon is when you choose this card, a Lilac Fire Dragon will touch you with incredible ninth dimensional light. So call it in and ask it to touch you. As it approaches you, breathe in divine love and sense the Lilac Fire enveloping you. This will enable you to let go of the old easily, calmly and graciously. Notice particularly how you feel when this dragon touches you and sense the purity of the love that it radiates. Ask this dragon to remain with you to anchor the glorious light of the lilac fire and take you into a new and illumined way of being. When you do this, the love radiating from your heart will become pure and more beautiful. People will sense this and respond with trust, respect, and gratitude. Consciously work with this beautiful dragon and notice the difference it makes in your life and the quality of love around you. So this is a really great card, you guys. Um... So this card is is just showing up because maybe it's time that you just rid yourself of some old ways, some old habits, some old emotions um, in order to replace them with something else. Um, you know, if if you spend your a lot of your time in anger, uh, it, it's time to get rid of that because it's not... It's not hurting anybody else but you, right? If you're spending a lot of time in negative thinking or, you know, you're just not a happy person, that's it's time to let that stuff go and, and basically, like, evolve or transmute into a higher version of yourself. So that's what this dragon is here to help you do like even if you don't believe in dragons like you can find a way to relate the dragon energy into your belief system um and if you're ready to make a change then go for it because you'll just feel better um i mean for myself like i had to change a lot of my habits like you know because I was always unhappy. Um, so I started listening to positive affirmations and writing them down. And 
um, you know, speaking positive things instead of, um, like trying to never speak in anger, um, you know, cause I'm an Aries and a kind of a, a dick for a while, you know, but I've spent the, the last, like, I'd say six to 10 years, like really developing a different way of being. Um, so, and it, this has a lot to do with ascension. So if you're on the path and you want to like basically improve who you are and, and shine a brighter light into the universe, um, and then ask for help. And if you don't want to ask for help from the dragon, just ask in general of the universe or, you know, whatever works for you, because this is a really good time to be, um, evolving. Um, so anyway, I'll leave it there, you guys. And if you are really interested in sort of bringing up your game as with spirituality and you're on Instagram, um, just look up Mystic Spider-Man. I um, stumbled across his page a couple months ago and just really some amazing meditations and stuff like that. Really good community. So I think it might help you um, if you're trying to sort of evolve into um, a higher being of light. So anyway, we'll leave it there, you guys. Thanks a lot for listening. As always, stay blessed and take care. Okay, bye for now.